Sarah. Welcome to the back. Oh, oh. Mwah. Sarah, coming for a welcome kiss so people can see that we're friends. In this strange car. <laughs> Such an actor. You're, you're safe. You're in the back of the Zuma Bill Island, and you have to answer my questions. I have to answer you. Okay. That's the, that's the deal with the lift. Really? Yeah, even though I'm taking you from one side of the Perth Entertainment Centre to the other, pretty much. Right. So I have to answer all questions, or mm -hmm. else. You'll just abandon me, leave me. I'll just leave you in the middle of the Perth. Right, thanks. thanks okay. for that. Okay, well, you're on Winners and Losers, which is winning in the ratings really well. Second series? Yes, we're into our second series, yep. And, yep. and uh, you're enjoying it, I presume? I love it. We have the best cast, we have the best crew. How did you end up on Winners and Losers? How did it come about? Um, I went in for an audition, like everyone does, and it just so happened that I, my character was getting married, and I was getting married in two weeks' time. So we started talking about that, and I think that might have helped me get the role. From there, my actual husband in real life got the role as my, my husband on the show. So, so a lot of winning. A lot of winning. Paul's really smart, my husband, because he if we've got a scene where he's he's got to be annoying me, he knows what to do to get under my skin, and then our scenes will be really real because I've just got all this pent up. She's got a rash. Did you give her some of your peanut skewers? No. Oh my god, what is she loving in that? I feel what's a reaction on? If you were to give any young actors or actresses or actors as they call them now any advice to get into acting, what would that be? You've got to really have a lot of self belief. You've got to be really determined. And I think, don't be afraid to be yourself. Are you ready now for the fast five questions? Oh, you do this cool. Yeah, yes. yeah, no, it is. So, okay. But it's got to be fast, does it? Yeah, it's got to be. Well, you Zoom. Think, well, I, generally they're not. Right. Okay. <laughs> they're not, but you could give it a crack. Okay, go, go, Are you ready? Fast, yeah. Okay, what's your first car? Uh, a Volvo. People used to laugh at me when I drove, drove past them, but I loved it. Same as Bertha. What is your opinion of the best car currently out in the world today? I love the, um, the Ford Focus. Dad brought home one day a really, like, hotted up. XR5. That one. XR5. People have an XR5 it's and they're car. really, really great. Okay, so what's your opinion of the worst car, other, other than Bertha, who the mechanic now owns, yes, on the right. um, on the roads today? The worst car. The worst car. One of those little, um... Oh, the little smart cars. Oh, the little the boxes, little... yeah. And what do you drive today? I drive a, um, a Ford Laser. Oh, just wow. Just an old 2000 Laser. It's, but it's good. It's classy. It gets you from A to B. It's all right. And the last question. This is deep. Yep, deep. What is your biggest fear? Killer clowns. <laughs> Have you come across any killer clowns? No, I just had this um, really bad dream when I was about five mm -hmm. about this really massive killer clown. And it was running around a lighthouse. Mm -hmm. And it had me in its hands. <laughs> and ever since then... I don't, killer clowns. You've wrecked clowns for me now. Thanks. That's hey. awesome. Thank you for being on Zoom. Oh, it's a pleasure.